What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 32 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So today I just wanted to let you guys know that I am effectively ending this tutorial series um, on this game. Um, and the reason is, is because I feel like I have taught you guys uh, everything that you need to build a game like this. Every f uh, time I sit down to create a new tutorial, I feel like right now I'm just duplicating previous tutorials and you guys really aren't learning anything new I'm just taking up time uh, with doing new things or the same thing in a new way and it's really not beneficial to you guys so right now my plan is is to create a new kind of like mini series where we go over like advanced features of libgdx like lighting and overlays and exporting to Android and iOS and all those will be in like mini series and I think you'll be able to get more of uh, out of those videos is if I continue doing this. Plus, I'm going to be honest, I'm getting a little tired of this tutorial series, this specific one on Mario. Um, and I'm really not putting as much effort into it as I should um, for you guys. And what I want is uh, to be able to produce content that will be valuable for you guys. So if I continue to do this, I feel like I'm going to continue to slack. Uh, so I think this is in the best interest of both of us. Now, a couple things I wanted to add before I finished this tutorial, but I decided not to do was the fireball power up, which was like the, you know, the, the fire plant or whatever. Um, and I did what I did was create the fireballs here. And this was going to be one of the last tutorials, uh, but I decided to just cut it here because because to create a fireball we're creating box 2d bodies and destroying them after a certain amount of time um, we are attaching uh, sprites to those fireballs we've done that already with Goombas with Mario with turtles we know how to do that um, also what I wanted to do uh, was to collide with a, a invisible like tile or an object here on uh, the flagpole and when he uh, collided with that invisible object he would change his graphic to the uh, falling down graphic the Mario that's holding on to the pole and then it would just slide him down here and then maybe give him a little impulse or something like that till he got to this position and then destroy Mario and that was gonna be the end of the tutorial series but I'm pretty sure we've already covered all those ideas and it's basically uh, unnecessary to cover them again so uh, as for these fireballs, even though I've, I'm not going to do a tutorial series on it, I'll probably go ahead and post the code to creating this. Um, now I won't have a uh, collision with enemies or anything like that. You'll have to do that yourself. Um, but I'll post this. It's not going to be the prettiest code because it wasn't meant to be tutorial level quality code. It was just kind of thrown together for testing purposes. So you're going to have to decipher out all the the bad code I would say um, but maybe it'll give you an idea of how I did it and how may you want to implement it yourself I would that's what I would recommend implementing it yourself but using my code as an idea so that's pretty much it for this series if you have any questions comments or concerns over any of this video or the previous video go ahead and post them below I'll be glad to answer I hope you guys look forward to my mini series on like overlays where we'll put like a game pad on the screen which I know a lot of people have been asking about I didn't want to do it specific for this video because I wanted to do a generic one so that people could put it on any game that they want um, so we'll do that later we'll talk about porting to Android and I think I'm even gonna actually do uh, porting to iOS I know I've told people I'm probably not gonna do it but now I think I am uh, so we'll see about doing that um, and we're gonna talk about a variety of other different things uh, that you can make new games with that are generic you can put them in a game and have fun with it uh, so uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button uh, most importantly please share it uh, the series has taken a lot of time to produce and I feel like um, I'm really wanting to grow this channel in a positive direction and you guys as uh, supporters and subscribers have really meant a lot to me. You guys have pushed me in the right direction uh, to do uh, new things and to have fun with this channel. Uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I, I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.